CJR here today with a pretty special pickup. Uh, early this morning I noticed an ad, well I noticed it was posted early this morning, I saw it around 10.30. Um, an ad for a PlayStation 4 demo kiosk. Um, I quickly jumped on the ad, I emailed the guy like two times and then he, I said call me and then he uh, messaged me and said call him and he didn't pick up and so it's been a nightmare trying to get a hold of this guy and finally he just texted me his address so I'm on my way over there now to uh, check this unit out. From the pictures it looks complete, uh, it doesn't come with the controller, the TV or the PS4 obviously but it looks like it's in really good shape, far better shape than the PlayStation 3 units were in and uh, it's a full standing unit, I've never actually even seen one. I have no idea where this guy found these. I'm really actually interested to find out where. But uh, the, all the PS4 kiosks I've ever seen are the ones that attach to the walls. So I've never seen a freestanding PS4 unit. So I'm pretty excited to go get this. Uh, he had it listed for 150 bucks. So I'll try and get it for 100 probably. But uh, I have no problem paying 150 for it. It looks like it's in really nice shape. So uh, anyways, we're on our way to go pick it up and hopefully there won't be any complications. Right. Okay, so we got it. I don't know if you can see back there, but it's got one more. All right, so we got it loaded up. You can see it back there. It's actually in really nice shape and pretty well complete. Funny story, I actually ended up picking up two of them. He had three total. You can see the one that was sitting back there uh, was missing these side pieces that hold the Vita and some promotional materials. So. Um, I offered him 200 bucks for two of them and they look fully complete to me minus the systems, the TVs and the controllers and the Vita. But other than that, they're in really nice shape and fully complete, not damaged at all. I uh, have pretty much no doubt in my mind that they're going to fire right up. All the lights will work. They're, uh, they're in really nice shape. So uh, I'm pretty excited. We'll, uh, we'll check it out when we get back home. All right, so there it is. It uh, easily weighs 200 pounds, so it's not easy to get these out of the truck. Thank God I got my dad and Teddy here to help me, right, Ted? Uh-huh. Okay, so here is the second unit. Um, it's Got even more stuff complete inside here, so I'm gonna have to take some parts from this one to complete my other one. It's, uh, it's just pretty dirty, and the top is a little bit more scratched, but still in great shape. Really nice find. So yeah, this is the one I'm keeping. As you can see, the inside is much cleaner on this one than the other one, but uh, it's missing a bunch of uh, parts. Nothing that can't be easily replaced. Uh, just power supply. Uh, Vita cable, um, not a whole lot. I have to figure out how this mechanism here works. But I think it keeps this from sliding. So this whole thing just slides right open. Really nice, that's where the controller goes. That's where the Vita goes. Um, some promotional materials here, here. And then I believe this lights up. There's a USB that I believe you plug into there. And then there should be a uh, light up sign here, uh, controller there. Really, really nice unit. I would guess probably a 24 inch monitor would go there. I think a 13 would be a little small, but I think that uh, you just get a, a regular monitor with a regular mounting rack and it'll just slide right in there and uh, fit right on there. So uh, the back panel here, I'm going to take off right now from it's accessible from the back. So uh, you would just slide it on and run the cord right through here and it should be pretty easy just to put any uh, TV in there. You can see my Xbox kiosk, that is a probably a 19 inch, but I would probably try and find a 32 to put on here. I think it would look pretty nice. So just gonna clean out the back here. It's actually really clean, but I just figured while I have this off, I may as well blast out some of the dust. And clean out the fans. Okay guys, I got it all cleaned up here. Uh, it's plugged into the extension cord there. 
I had to take some of the parts from the other one. Like I said, uh, case in point, this is actually missing from the other one, but it's just a regular like three prong uh, power cord, so I shouldn't have a tr have trouble finding that. Um, this guy in here is missing, which powers the light, I believe, maybe even the fan also. Uh, oh, okay, I see right here, here's the connections for the fan, so that's actually the fan. Oh, and the lights too, cool. So I, I could actually add lights to this if I wanted to pretty easily. Uh, that runs the fans and lights. So the power supply is missing for that, but it's just like a standard, I don't know, 12 volts or whatever it is. So I shouldn't have any problems uh, finding the parts for the other one either. And <clears throat> anyways, we're gonna power this up here. There's a little switch here. When you put the back plate on, you're able to fit your finger in here to, and it powers up, uh, just like the PS3 powers up everything, so. Okay, we have lights. Uh, those fans are actually pulling the air out from the compartment in here to keep it cool, so it's actually exhausting the air towards the camera. And they are very loud, so I'm not sure how, but I'll have to look into a way to uh, maybe even replace those fans or try and make them quieter. So let's go around to the front here and see how it looks. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. I actually didn't realize that this lights up below here, which is awesome. Um, then the PS4 lights up there and then up top. Very, very cool um, standy kiosk. It's in, uh, it's in really good shape. Probably better shape than the other ones I found previously. This guy's in good shape, but uh, yeah, actually maybe not. Uh, they're all in good shape, I was very lucky. Um, so, of course, that's a uh, dummy console in here. And then this thing just slides out. Thank God it was open. Uh, there are two key keys on the sides so here. I don't know if you can see that down here, but they're both open. So I'll just leave it as is. Um, when it's closed, it stays in there pretty well. Um, that is the controller holder. Let's just see quickly. I believe the controller just sits, yeah. Controller sits nicely right in there, so. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it wireless. I'm not worried about somebody stealing a controller in my basement, so I'm not too worried about the attachment that goes in the back. Uh, this is all intact. I'll show you here. I noticed though that uh, I believe this provides the power to the Vita. Um, maybe, or maybe just, I don't know, but I don't see speakers on this, but this thing on the other one is running into this power supply. There's like a power supply here. It runs into the back of that. So I don't know what's up with that, but my brother-in-law's an electrician. So I'll have to see, I guess that would be for audio, but I don't see any speakers on this thing or anything. Cause this is the power supply for the Vita here, uh, which you would plug in here and then would provide power through uh, this section of the holder here and uh, yeah we'll see this is obviously for a model one I would think so we'll see if I'm even able to screw that on there or what but down the road that's something I'll do when Vitas are nice and cheap like how PSPs are now I would think that this would provide sound um, I'm just trying to think I think in the kiosks in the store they just play through here like it's not like they're running the picture on the TV or anything or sound through speakers so I gotta look for a manual online and uh, and figure out how this works but for 200 bucks uh, basically a hundred dollars each uh, really really fantastic deal I'm blown away this thing's gorgeous now I just gotta wait for ps4s to get really cheap um, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the meantime I might actually put a ps3 in there uh, it sits on the shelf in there and you strap it in basically. I might actually slide a PS3 Super Slim in there or something like that and just run PS3 games on it for now until PS4s are cheap enough that I am willing to throw one into this unit. So, um, Yeah, anyways guys, that is my PS4 kiosk pickup video. Uh, do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It really helps the channel out. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to trade one off. I really would like to get my hands on a Dreamcast kiosk. I don't know how 
realistic that is, but uh, really, really nice find for what I paid for it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until the next episode.